Hello friends, welcome to my channel Explore with Joyita. Today I am going to share with you all about the history of Kashmir. Do watch this video till the end. It's going to be very interesting. Before watching this video, I request you to subscribe my channel to get more fascinating videos like this. And don't forget to like and share. Now let's move on. Kashmir is the northernmost geographical region of Indian subcontinent. It is bordered to the north and east by China, to the northwest by Afghanistan, to the west by Pakistan and to the south by India. Nature has endowed Kashmir with implausible beauty and is rightly called as paradise on earth. Kashmir is resplendent with stunning china trees that turn the entire valley yellow and red when the autumn arrives. Silver lakes that turn golden at the crack of dawn and crystal blue rivers that are sourced from the icy mountains. In ancient times, Kashmir was known as Satisar. Neel Nag was the first ruler of Satisar. He was the son of Sage Kashyap. Sage Kashyap is a revered Vedic sage of Hinduism. He is one of the Saptarishis, the seven ancient sages of the Rig Veda. Kashyap is the most ancient and venerated Rishi, along with the other Saptarishis. He was one of the Manasaputras of Lord Brahma, the creator of the universe. As Kashmir's historical book Rajatarangiri recounts from the inception, Nagas prospered in the underwaters of Lake Satisaras. Troubled by a gigantic demon Jalopau, once the Naga king Neela seeked his father, the Tejasvi Rishi Kashyap's help. Rishi Kashyap drained out the lake Satisaras by opening hole in the hill near Varamula, leaving Jalopau powerless. So Lord Vishnu seized the opportunity and killed him. To honor Rishi Kashyap's brave fate, Lord Vishnu renamed Satidesha as Kashyapamir, meaning the lake or mountain of Kashyap. Over time, Varamula came to be known as Baramula and Kashyapamir as Kashmir. According to Kashmir's historical book Rajatarangiri, Kashmir was included in the empire of Ashoka Maurya who is credited with the foundation of the city of Srinagar around the year 250 BC. During this period, Buddhism spread in Kashmir and flourished under the Kushanas. During the reign of Kanishka, the third Buddhist council took place in Kashmir which has been attested by the 7th century Chinese traveller Haiwen Sang. But Hinduism held its sway in the region. The 7th century AD witnessed the establishment of a dynasty called the Karkota, whose foundation stone was laid by Durlabha Vardhana. The most famous ruler of this dynasty was Lalita Aditya Muktapid, who built the world-famous Sun Temple in Kashmir. The Karkotas were supplemented by the Utpalas in 855 AD. The most important ruler of this dynasty was Avanti Varman. He recovered Kashmir from utter political and economic disorder into which Kashmir had fallen during the rule of his predecessors. Didda, a Gupta widowed queen, ruled Kashmir until 1003 AD when the Lohara dynasty took over. The last Hindu ruler of Kashmir was Udyandev. His chief queen Kota Rani was the de facto ruler of the kingdom. With her death in 1339, the Hindu rule in Kashmir came to an end and thus was established the Muslim rule in Kashmir under Sultan Shamasuddin whose dynasty ruled the valley for 222 years. The greatest ruler of this dynasty was undoubtedly Sultan Zainul Abdin. Under his rule, Kashmir was culturally and politically at its zenith. He was essentially a man of secular outlook and patronized all faiths and religions alike. He made Kashmir the center of a great culture and worked hard to promote learning and to build up the economy of the people. The kingdom was annexed into the Mughal Empire in 1586. In 1757, Kashmir came under the control of Ahmed Shah Durrani, the Afghan who invaded India many times. 
In 1819, Kashmir was annexed by Ranjit Singh and made a part of his Sikh empire. The two Anglo-Sikh wars fought between Sikhs and Ranjit Singh resulted in the complete extinction of the Sikh sovereignty in Kashmir. The British gave away Kashmir to Gulab Singh for the sum of 75 lakhs of rupees under the Treaty of Amritsar. He extended his territory by annexing Ladakh. Gulab Singh died in 1857 and was replaced by Ranbir Singh 1857 to 1885 Two other maharajas Pratap Singh and Hari Singh ruled in succession Maharaja Hari Singh ascended the throne in 1925 He continued to govern the state till 1950 In 1932 Kashmir's first political party All Jammu and Kashmir Muslim Conference was formed by Sheikh Abdullah The party was later renamed the National Conference in 1939 and continues to be a major political party in Kashmir today. After Indian independence in 1947, the ruler of the princely state of Kashmir, Maharaja Hari Singh, refused to accede to either India or Pakistan. When Pakistan invaded Kashmir in the following year, the ruler of Kashmir sought help from the Indian government and agreed to place Kashmir under the dominion of India. In 1956 Kashmir was integrated into the Indian Union under a new constitution. So friends this was my video today. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to get more fascinating videos like this subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you bye bye.